Right, here we go. Look at this. And I've only got one I've only got one microphone, but we've got a trio here. Let's get you all in view. Can you get in like you really like each other? Like you a really close knit family. Oh, she hates Sorry, you, you, you got to get in closer. October Red Boxing, I am joined with the champion. Look at these shiny things. May I hold them after? I'm, I'm not on anybody's side. Would I be all right to hold them? Hannah Rankin, IBO. WBA. And the WBA champion. Look at these things. Lovely to have you as a guest on the channel. Yeah, thank you for having me, yeah. It's been overdue. We are joined, but I'm going to introduce Rich the Secret Williams as I know him. Rich, a pleasure to have you back. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. It's good to see you. Looking good as ever. I'll get about. And finally, introduce yourself for us, sir. I'm uh, Hannah Rankin's head trainer, Noel Callum. The man that makes it happen. The main key voice. Yeah. <laughs> that one voice in the corner, how important is that? Very important. Yeah, very important. That's the only person you hear on Fight Night anyway. You know, everyone says, oh, could you hear me in the crowd? No, the only voice I hear is Noel's. <laughs> How do you train yourself to zone out to that? And I'm sorry, I'll go straight into it because I, I want to know about these things. Um, I think, to be honest, you spend so much time together that you're like tuned into that frequency anyway. But um, also, you know, that's the person that's giving you the advice. So that's where you get advice from. So you, that's the person you're relying on when you're in there. We've been doing this for seven years. So it's taken a long time. So you've got a seven-year relationship then. Talk to us a little bit about that relationship and how it works from, you know, coach to fighter. It's been difficult, I won't lie. Um, I want us just to build the details. Nah, I mean, hard work. We, uh, we probably round maybe once a week, easy. Okay. Which is, that's a good week. Yeah. But when we've been doing this for so long all over the world, um, it, it, has, it takes its toll, shall we say. But what makes you two gel as coach and fighter? Because I say, when you have a coach, you can start boxing, can't you? You have a coach and maybe a little light flickers, yeah. but it doesn't turn the light on. But then you meet someone and that spark just lets that light shine. What is it with you two? And I'm going to ask Hannah to start with. <laughs> well, I think because we both have the same sort of like drive and ambition, we're very competitive. Both of us are really competitive. Um, and we also, you know, don't take no for an answer on anything. So we, we gel very well together. And it's always about going out there and doing what everyone says we can't do. And like, I saw that immediately when we met each other. You know, it doesn't get let me off with anything. Neither does Rich. So, you know, it's a tough love, but um, I kind of like, you know, drawn to that sort of aspect. And yourself? Uh, I'd absolutely say the same thing. We're both obsessed. And I know that's a dirty word, particularly in the UK. But we're obsessed, I think. Context, yeah. but well, I, I think Rich would probably agree with this. Um, Oh, sorry, I was going to say, like, I've, I've been working with them for over a year, yeah. just over a year. And, okay. and the thing that I see with both of them is, like, you know, the work ethic. Their work ethic, exactly the same. They work hard, they work continuously, and that's why it's a pleasure for me to be in it. So that's why, how it goes. So how did you become an addition to part of the team? I'm just making sure you're all still in it together. How did you become part of the team? Because... Sometimes, and I, I can get a bit protective, and I don't want anyone near my favourite. So how did you become part of the team? Well, it was, it was after the Savannah Marshall fight. Yeah, so they, they came by my gym, we were talking. Um, I made a few suggestions, which I wouldn't normally do. Oh, no, you quite. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, w I wouldn't normally do. But, like I said, because I've known Hannah and Noel for quite a while, and they work so hard, and I was just, we were talking and I was thinking, well, you're, you're working in the wrong direction. So Noel said, to Noel's credit, he said to me, well, help us then. And that was it. That's how it came about, you know, and so, we're a great team like that. As I see my job as a head coach is to make sure Hannah has what she needs to Admiral. become world champion Admiral. and sustain being that, right? Yeah. Some coaches make it all about them. I'll leave that one there. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say any more. Not today, anyway. Um, and... I've put the team together around Hannah and we're world champ. Simple as that. And I think that's the best way to be. You know, you need, to, and I've always said this, like for me, everything I have in my socials is under team ranking because it's about the team. It's a team that gets me to where I want to be. I'm the, the very tip of the spear and they do all the stuff behind that to get to that point. So, you know, the team is very important and um, I'm very proud to have a great team around me. 
and we talk about that team and it follows you into the weekend. I watched the, um, the face-off and he said the gloves are off then, sorry. <laughs> um, I watched the face-off yesterday, very interesting. Um, and what I will say is you've got a spiteful side that I hadn't seen before. Oh really? Me? <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a fighter at the end of the day and I'm going in there to defend what's mine. And uh, we can be, you know, we'll shake hands after the fight, but and until that's done, until my arm's raised, um, we're not friends. Terry has come up a couple of weights. You've mentioned that it's reckless, but Terry's quite often said she walks around comfortably at that weight. So she's probably, and I can't speak for her, but she's probably even sparred at that weight. Educate me, a fool that just speaks to fighters. Talk to me about why you call it reckless for a championship bout. Well, when you've done all your fights at much lower weights, that's what you're used to fighting at, what you're used to, people that you're used to be fighting is that weight, you know? And then when you get in the ring on fight night, that's what you're expecting. Whereas sparring with people at this weight and fighting people at this weight is two very different things. You know, I'm coming down to 154. I'm not walking around at 154. I'm coming down to it. So I'm, you know, I'm big for the weight, you know? And I think the, the weight and uh, also the power and the strength and everything will play a huge part in this fight. Not to mention all the other stuff that I've been working on with the team. So, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely different when you're coming down to a weight and then when you're actually, you know, just walking around at it. Right, and I, I ask this because obviously we've got similar fights going on with the boys. We've got Connor Ben, we've got Chris Eubank Jr. And the, the massive argument over the weight and why it is so significant because of that weight drop. And as a fe as females doing this, it's important. So that's why I ask that question. The, the difference of getting in the ring at that you know that extra heavier weight people often panic you know you're gonna when you drop weight are you gonna be withdrawn you're gonna be this you're gonna be that but nobody really says anything about going up weights which is something that Natasha Jonas has done as well absolutely Natasha's done it I've done it myself I've been up to 168 I've done 160 you know so I'm not a small fire um, and the thing is it's like I know you know what your weight class best suits you and I'm a true 154. That's where I belong. You know, I have the options to drop to 147 if I want to. I'd be a giant at the weight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like you said, it's, it's just a different kettle of fish, <laughs> to be honest. But equally, when um, Joe Gallagher and Tash Jones stepped up a weight, they only just stepped into the 154 pound limit. So they didn't put on loads of weight. They didn't try to make themselves bigger. They kept their speed. They kept the attributes that makes Tasha good at the lower weights is going up to 154 and whatever Terry gets in the ring at 154, 156, probably what she's walking around at now. Is that going to be the same? Is she going to have the same speed and think she's going to run an outbox hunter? I guess we'll find out because you might have built a good chassis. Maybe you've got an engine to power it. I guess we'll find out. Rich, your thoughts on that? Because Rich is an experienced fighter, former champion himself. I can't remember the weight, so don't shout at me. <laughs> but, all oh, right, okay. Same as me. Well, you see, this is a bit much. So my take on it, because she's coming up, was it three weights? Yeah. She's coming up three weights. So I'm expecting her to be better. I'm expecting her to be better. Um, she's not fought at the weight before. So it might feel a bit unusual. It take it, Maybe it'll take her two or three fights to get used to fighting at the weight. But I've, as a fighter, I've experienced being drained after, after weighing and things like that. And that's a horrible place to be. So... I'm expecting her to be in a better place and to be a bit better. Well, we look forward to it, your performance on Saturday. Let's see if you're going to keep those belts. The thing is, what I like about this, and, I'm, and, I, and I mean this not in a disrespectful way, is the fact that you just want to keep hold of them. It airs on, you know, their mind to like slightly like, I'm desperate to keep these and I don't care what I have to do to keep them. Does, does that make sense? That's absolutely how it is. You know, you work incredibly hard to get hold of these. These aren't just, not everybody has them. You know, I'm at the top of my game for a reason. So, you know, I'm, I'm leaving with my belts on Saturday night. Hard work. Hard work. Non-stop hard work. Teamwork. We like it. October Red Boxing nearly said my real name. They're not what it would have mattered. But I got that comfortable. I forgot where I was. Anyway, uh, October Red Boxing with Team Rankings. Thank you so much for your time and all the best on Saturday night. Thank you very much for having us. Cheers. Take care. Take care. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, 
we stay ready 